Oh, well, uh, I have to do a part two on after replacing the brake pads of a rear brake pads of a Mercedes ML350 2003. The most important thing. Remember, you retract that piston inside, right? So you make sure you have to bleed it too for two reasons. When you bleed it, that piston will again come out in the proper position where it's squeezing these brake pads to this rotor. Secondly, try to replace as much as you can on the brake fluid in the system, especially this one is a 2003. I don't know if this system has been bleed, so, but you can find that yourself. You need to wait until the uh, brake fluid that's coming out is crystal clear just like the one you bore from the bottle. Alright, so how do you do bleeding? Okay, you have to have two people, one up in the driver's side. The, uh, the kind of command are like this, pump, press, release, pump, press, pump, press release okay what that do once you get it pumping brake pull will start running toward the system and this bleeder here right here I call them bleeder uh, this one's this size is man that's too big it's kind of number 10 once you have them pressed open it up open it up brake fluids will come out but if you replace your caliper, air will come out, okay? Then close it, tell them to release, then pump again, pump. About five times, all the way up. Don't be just pumping a little bitty thing up and down like that. Make sure you release that brake pad or brake thing all the way up, the brake pedal. And then let it press again, press it, and then release. Eventually, that air will be replaced by the brake fluid, okay? And then, once you see a clear brake fluid coming out, it's done procedure. Because I remember one time way back when, in 19 on something, I have a 1988 E300 Mercedes. Never did that. Forgot to do it. Oh, my wife got so scared when she backed up. Luckily... With all the pumping that she did, it kind of stopped. Because like I said, the piston is retracted all the way back, even though the other ones you didn't touch them. Oh, you have to replace both pads, even though the other two you didn't replace them, the car will not stop, okay? That's just safety precaution, okay? Also, this is a friendly, environmentally friendly cleaning thing. It's used in the kitchen. Anywhere, like here, barbecue grill, mechanics, uh, ranges, it is used t-shirts, oh my goodness, outdoor furniture, what else, outholds on the south side, I use it for everything, I kind of spray this all up, okay? just spray it like that, what it does, it kind of remove all this dirt and kind of grimes that are stuck in there, Remember, this is the wheel, so dirty. Although, when you have a nice tire, you always buy those no dust brake pads. They're kind of expensive, but they're nice. Like they got copper in there. But I like them, they're soft. And if you don't roll in your uh, caliper, I mean, rotor. Right. Let it soak for about five minutes. I've never used this on the body because this is a strong solution here. I use it on the engine, but not on the body. Okay. Growing your paint job. That is it for now. Like I said, this is part two of rear brake pad replacement of a Mercedes Benz. ML350 2003. It's an old one, but it's got only 80,000 miles. I say that.
Because it's a dust dustler. 93 octane is always 50% higher than the 87 octane. Alright, bye bye for now my friends. Hope you learned something. Great day. Happy weekend. Happy Father's Day. Thank you.